What's going on guys or girls? Because girls like to play games too. So I'm just doing a video to I guess promote my channel and I like to, I think this is a good starting with this off. Uh to let you guys know what I actually use in the class. So you guys can see um what I was using. So I mean it's not nothing that any different, but I just thought that was helpful. And maybe you guys would like to try that out. So I made that. So point of this video is two prong process here and uh, we're playing domination on oasis and i thought this would be my last video was on oasis but i thought this would be an excellent video sh video to show you guys because it just shows the different routes you can take and all that good stuff so the, like i said two prong pro process of making this video one is to promote myself and hopefully get more viewers more subscribers, I would say. Not viewers, subscribers. And the second part is to talk about a zombie plan. Everyone has to have a zombie plan, right? Nowadays, all these crazy stuff going on with the Miami zombie and people eating other people. You gotta have some type of plan. You gotta... You gotta think of some strategy here. Now... <laughs> I guess my plan is, I want to say not to have a plan, but it seems typically when you have a plan, it all goes to S. And I was flashbacking myself a lot in this game. And you want to have a plan, but you don't want to over plan, I would say. And this is, like I said, this is my plan, and I don't expect anyone to follow this if for some reason a zombie apocalypse were to happen. Right? Let's say a virus apocalypse. Let's say there's an infection and everyone you come in contact with, whether it be coughing or whatever, kind of gets sick. It doesn't have to be zombies here. Think about that. So, first plan, if I'm at home, I'm going to try to gather as much food. Maybe I shouldn't tell you guys this because you guys are going to come find me and steal my stuff. <laughs> I highly doubt it. So, the first plan, I guess, would be to... Oh, this is with zombies, so... Board up as many windows as I can. And try to make my place as safe as possible. Uh, with that, I do own... Means of defense. So, I will have that on me. And... I think I will try to get some place... High. Now, high in altitude, I'm not going to get high while doing this. this. That would not be good for anybody, let alone me. So, that being said, gather all my food, uh, my weaponry, and try to get somewhere as safe as possible within my own home. Now, more than likely, what am I think about here? More than likely, now, if it is zombies, being the way the human body is, the body's gonna eventually erode itself and it's gonna eventually die. So, my plan is to. I thought that Predator missile was gonna get me. My plan is to try to outlast the decaying bodies. That's my plan. And once, kind of like 20 weeks later, I think it was, the plan was to try to get out of Dodge and just outlast these decaying bodies. And, uh, of course, some people are going to be like, oh, well, if they don't, zombies don't die if they eat, but you know what? Using, I would say, my, my scientific mind, using a scientific logic, all bodies, once dead, once there's no blood pumping through these veins, once the heart stops, you end up dying. And that's regardless, any animal, I mean, blood always gotta be pumping in order for your body to continue the way it does, so I'm gonna out, try to outlast these zombies and then uh, go out for food while they're all laying on the ground trying to crawl at me or just kind of laying there like, oh, I'm gonna be like, whatever zombie. Smash your face in. Can't get me. And I failed knife. And then 
that, that's gonna be if I'm home and that happens. You know, that's the other part of your zombie plan. You gotta have think about where you're gonna be. More than likely, with my luck, I'll be away from home and I'll be at work. So there's two options. I could be a total a-hole and abandon my family and just be like, well, I'll see you in 30 days. Hopefully you survive. And uh, try to survive. Or I try to make it to my home. Every ounce, every last ounce of energy I have to make it home to my loved ones and uh, start the zombie plan. Initially, like I was telling you guys, if I decide, like I said, to be an a-hole and stay, then my plan, I guess, would be to gather as much resources as I could, whether it be food, weaponry, and it's, it, again, it's going to be the same thing. Try to outlast these crazy human rain rage things. Oh, that was such a and just try to outlast them. I think that's the best option. I don't know what you guys feel, but I think it's the, the best method that uh, that you can I uh, probably prepare for. And I mean, some people have where, oh, let's go to let's go to Costco, let's go to Sam's Club, let's go to Walmart. These massive like. Uh, yeah, cap in that area like a boss. Um, like, having taking like going into like massive like grocery stores and just thinking no one else is gonna go there and do the same thing. People, if you've ever s seen how people act in crowds, they just kind of follow everyone and they get that double kill and. They're just gonna. More infections gonna be there. So, especially if it's viral. Man. That is not good for anyone. People are just gonna be sneezing and infected. They're just gonna be like biting, scratching you. It's just not gonna be good. So, that's why I would say stay away from Costco, Sam's Club, Walmarts, Targets. Any place where there's a massive amount of food store. Don't. Don't even bother. Just stay away from them. Just try to, uh, I guess, be like a semi doomsday preparer and stock up on uh, canned food. I mean, you're gonna have to ration your food. And that's the other part of this. You're gonna have to think about. You just can't eat like how you normally would just eat. Just get like, what's something you'd order late at night? Like at night. Uh, I don't know, like, say you go to Taco Bell and you get like five tacos and a large soda and cinnamon twist and who knows what else you might order at Taco Bell. Um, you're not going to be able to eat like that anymore. You're going to have to start rationing your food. You're going to have to think about if you have a firearm, you're going to have to think about when to discharge your firearm. The people. Humans are attracted to sound, so whether it be, let's say, zombies, they're going to hear the sound, they're going to kind of come towards you. And that would not be good for the survival of you or your family. Now, some people are like, let's just kill them all. Really? How many people are in the world? Go ahead, tell me. I'll wait. <laughs> I honestly don't know either. So let's just give a rough estimate of six billion people in the whole world. Now, obviously, the whole world's not connected. So let's just say only the United States was affected by this. And for the people in the UK viewers, say the UK was affected by this. Uh, in the US, I'm going to guess 10 million, 6 million people. UK, we are on the same numbers. So I don't know. I'm just guessing. It's going to be a lot. Let's say you have like 10 guys, a group of 10 guys that are know how to use weapons and firearms. You really think they're going to take out over 10 million people with just civilian weaponry? Oh no, my friend. You are going to have to have some type of bombs and missiles and helicopters. 
some type of military organization to take out 10 million people, so that's another flawed plan, I feel. And I would say anything that the government tells you, oh, you have to do this and go here, it's safe. Ooh, I was like, oh, oh final standard. I would say you want to... This is just personal standpoint, but I would say stay far away from what the government tells you. It's probably not going to be good. Oh, look at that. I killed him with the bouncing Betty flash grenade. That was In fact, that was sexy. That's what it was. So, that's my zombie plan, guys. Tell me what you think of it. What uh, I could add to it. What I could modify to it. What, what do you feel that would make this plan flawless I mean I don't know another way I mean one thing I will say if zombies are able to turn into dogs we're all screwed we're, we're done for oh, I got another bouncing to kill we're done for because a pack of wolves Man, there's no way we can survive a pack of wolves. Then it's just being regular wolves. There's like no way we can survive that. And if there's zombie wolves, forget it. We're done, skis. It's it's no good. So I guess that's my plan. Gameplay's coming up to end here. You can find my channel. Probably I think the guy's gonna link it. In the description, if not, it's YouTube use youtube.com forward slash user contract killer with the E. I'm sorry, the E is a three, so you'll be able to find it that way. And uh, same thing as my Twitter, I only post when I'm gonna be live streaming, which I do on Twitch TV. It's gonna be saying my name right there, as you guys can see. I ended up going 53 and 15 with a pretty simple setup that uh, you guys can use. And I hope to see more of you guys on my channel. Have a good day.